All hail the red carpet queens. Emily Blunt, Dame Helen Mirren and Sally Hawkins step out in breathtaking style as they add a touch of British glamour to the 90 Emily Blunt. Dame Helen Mirren and Sally Hawkins led the British glamour as they stepped out in style for the 90th Annual Academy Awards on Sunday evening. The actresses stayed true to their impeccable red carpet style, each turning heads as they arrived at Hollywood's Dolby Theater in a selection of breathtaking gowns which showed their sartorial prowess. Leading the pack was 35-year-old Emily, who looked sensational in a Heinklein Victorian-inspired duck egg blue gown with tall shoulders, freely white bodice detailing and a dramatic train. With her golden locks styled into a lustrous chignon, the devil wears Prada star, who is married to actor John Krasinski, complimented her flattering ensemble with glittering raindrop earrings. Toting a white peel box clutch, the mother of Ta who will present at the awards show teamed her earrings with a selection of sparkling rings, while she highlighted her natural beauty with a dusting of flattering makeup. She scooped a coveted Best Actress Academy Award back in 2007 for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth II in the critically acclaimed film The Queen. And Dame Helen who has also signed up to present at the awards gala proved herself worthy of taking on the regal role when she stepped out in looking sensational for the star-studded celebratory gathering. The 72-year-old actress wowed as she hit the Dolby Theatre's red carpet in an elegant, form-fitting blue gown, which featured long sleeves, a high incline and fishtail silhouette. Adding an extra touch of sparkle to her simple yet chic gown, the screen star dazzled in a diamond and sapphire statement necklace, which was teamed with a pair of matching earrings. Helen who is set to serve as one of the presenters at the Glittering Awards Gala, stood tall in a pair of black open toe heels, while a blue peel box clutch remained in her hand as she posed for photographers. As she made her way down the red carpet, she was seen striking a pose with 61-year-old songwriter Diane Warren, with the pair plucking out their smartphones to snap a series of selfies. Meanwhile, Sally Hawkins arrived in award-winning style as she prepared to battle it out with Meryl Streep, Frances McDormand, Cyrus Ronan and Margot Robbie for Best Actress for her efforts in The Shape of Water. The 41-year-old looked stunning as she stepped out in a glittering champagne pink gown, which blended into a midnight blue embellished hemline and featured prominent shoulder pads. Cinching her dress at the waist with a black sash belt, the brunette wore her raven tresses in an elegant bun as she posed for red carpet photographers. She was also seen catching up with her The Shape of Water co-star Octavia Spencer, 45, who also arrived contending for a trophy, as she's been nominated in the Best Supporting Actress category. Dame Helen Mehron, Emily Blunt, Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman will be among the presenters at the Oscars. Other stars due to take to the stage to present include Dave Chappelle, Eugenio Derbez, Ansel Elgort, Jane Fonda, Jodie Foster, Easy Gonzalez, Ashley Judd, Matthew McConaughey, Rita Moreno, Lupita Nyong'o and Christopher Walken. Judd and Nyong'o are among the high-profile actresses who have accused disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein of sexual harassment. However host Jimmy Kimmel has said he will not focus on the scandal when he opens the ceremony at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles. Other presenters already announced for the ceremony include Wonder Woman star Gallons Gadot and Mark Hamill, as well as last year's winners Mahershala Ali, Emma Stone and Viola Davis. It is customary for the previous winners to present to the new winner at the subsequent ceremony. However, the last winner of the Best Actor Award, Casey Affleck, will not be attending the ceremony this year. The Manchester by the Sea star would have been expected to present the Best Actress Award, according to the show's tradition, but in January he withdrew from the hosting role. In 2010 Affleck was sued by two women for alleged sexual harassment before the lawsuits were settled out of court. He has vehemently denied the sexual harassment claims which were alleged to have happened during the making of the film I'm Still Here. The nominations for the Oscars are led by Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water, which is 13 nods, while Dunkirk, directed by Christopher Nolan, has 8.